Hey guys, so like I said in my last video, I was going to introduce you to um, a child, my child. Um, so like I said in my last video, I was going to introduce you to a my child, and I am going to do that. So I'm sure you're all thinking, what the heck is she talking about? But I have a new addition here to the family. Um, so are we ready? Are you ready? Okay. I got a chinchilla. I know. Maybe you were thinking I had a baby. No. I have a fur baby. Yeah. Say hi. You want to say hi? Look at the camera. Look right here. Oh. <laughs> so this is my chinchilla. His name is Kowali. Um, we spell it K-O-A-L-I-E-E. -E. Um, me and my boyfriend got him for our one year, and I just love him. He's so soft and so cuddly, and you're just such a little baby. Um, but I'm going to be showing you his little crib is what I call I don't know what to call it. I just, like, call it everything. But I'm going to be showing you his um, crib, I guess, and, like, little toys he plays with. So if you're interested in seeing how I take care of my chinchilla and you want to see more videos on Kowali, then let me know in the comments but like I love him he is so nice he's not mean he doesn't like the pet store said that he will only like one owner and that's not really true for us anyway um but they do get really hot and they can die if they like get too hot like over 75 degrees but I don't know they're really cute and I love them like I want to get another one so he can have a friend but I don't know. Probably won't happen. But he's just, he's so cute. And he's not nocturnal. This one sleeps at night. It's so funny. Um, I love him. He's so adorable. So I don't know how old he is, but I'm pretty sure he's just a baby. Um, I told my boyfriend we're just going to call him, or say that he's three months. So, you know, because I have no idea how old he is and the place I didn't, I didn't even think to ask. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out when we take him to the vet one day, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you his little housing arrangements in my room or in our room. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is his um, crib, cage, house, room, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's really, really tall. Um, we had to buy a ferret cage. Um, this is by Katie. Uh, I don't know. But, I'm going to turn on the Xbox. I'm staying away from the Xbox. Okay. But I'm going to kind of zoom in for you guys. This right here that you can see, um, this little dangle thing, is just a little, like, chew toy. It says chinchilla on it. Um, but he just chews on that at night or just whenever he's up there. But on this top level, since we only have, we don't have a sheet to cover the whole thing, so we just use a towel, just a generic bath towel. He sleeps up here when uh, we cover up the thing. And then he's down there currently on this shelf. Um, um, sitting on his chinchilla is what that's called. Um, it's just a little slab of like, I don't know if it's like, it's like slate or it's some type of material. It's just something so he can just chill down if he's really hot. And then that little guy right beside him is a Tsum Tsum. I think is how they call it, pronounce that, but it's just basically a stitch, a little stitch for babies, but I bought it for him. And then down there, you can see that's a little mineral chew, and it's in the shape of an ice cream cone. I guess they're supposed to be flavored like Cabana banana, strawberry, and like vanilla or something like that. And then over there is his water bottle. We just got, I didn't know how much he was going to drink. He doesn't drink that much, so we only fill it halfway. Um, and then, let me back up. On the very bottom, we have green bedding, which we're going to change because he does throw his bedding out of his cage, um, which is just crazy. Like, he'll literally just, if he doesn't want it, he'll throw it out. But I have a dog bowl currently filled with some chinchilla food. And then we have this alligator, which is actually a ferret toy, but we figured since he likes, since chinchillas like to burrow, that he would go inside of it. He won't go inside it. We've opened it so he would go inside. He won't go inside of it. Sometimes he'll lay down. So we'll probably hang it somewhere or something like that. I don't know. 
what we're going to do. Because at the store they had him in a hammock. Um, but then also, if you can see this little gray piece here, um, right there, that is actually a slide. It's really hard for me to show you, um, but it's actually just a slide. Um, and then right there is just the ramp that you saw from earlier. This cage actually came with two other ramps, but they don't really work anywhere else because he likes to jump. And we just figured just using one is good enough. Um, and his favorite little spot is to chill right there in that corner, believe it or not. He'll chew on the cage bars and stuff right there, and he'll just chill there. Or he'll chew, chill right there in between the ramp and the cage wall. Or his sleeping arrangements, which are up here. So that's pretty much where he's chilling. Um, we are going to be changing his bedding to fleece um, because he's... He won't be able to throw that out. It's just easier to wash and not a lot of waste of money. So, yeah. Um, but that is my new addition. My, me and my boyfriend's new addition to our family. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more about Kowali, just let me know in the comments. And I will definitely let you know about how he's doing and maybe updates or how I care for him. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.